designers, we are at the end of this unit, so that means you are ready to start your project. Before you do that, make sure that you have done all the required coursework leading up to this. So you should have watched the take home lecture over textile design and color scheme and color theory. You should have completed the following illustrator tutorials. How to create a pattern, a geometric pattern, how to create a motif pattern using the symbols panel, and then finally that Adobe color scheme creation. So you've learned how to create a color scheme, a balanced color scheme, and save those colors to your swatches panel before you begin. All right, so now we're ready. So here's what I'm looking for in this project. I'm looking for an original pattern. So you cannot use one of the patterns you created in the previous one. And this one should be probably a little bit more complex and more thoughtful than your previous ones where you were just practicing how to create patterns. You can still use the symbols. You can in fact use any shape tool. That includes the type tool. You can include text as well. Um, and you are going to create an original tile. As you can see here, you will create a pattern. You will show me what your color scheme was. And then you're gonna show me three different possible products with this. Now with this video tutorial, my recommendation is to watch it, follow along with it, and then you will probably need to refer back to it from time to time, and especially again at the end to make sure that you are doing everything correctly before you send it in, okay? So step number one is we've gotta create a new document. So we're gonna go to File, New. I want you to create a 20 by 20 inch document. You're just gonna hit Create. And we're gonna save this. Save as, save it in the Creative Cloud. I want you to call this final tile and then your name and click save. Okay, so on this final tile, you need to create, and I'm gonna steal because I, for sake of time, you need to create a unique one of a kind tile that you are gonna repeat in a pattern. Okay, that is step number one. Once you have done this, you do not need to share this individual one with me, but you need to make sure it's saved in your cloud because you're gonna need it later on, okay? So stop the video, go make your tile now. When your tile is done, come back to this, and then let's go on to the next step. All right, so apparently you've created your one-of-a-kind tile. We're gonna turn this into a pattern. So we're gonna go to File, New, we're just keeping it all consistent, 20 by 20 inches. And we're gonna save this on the Creative Cloud. We're gonna call it Final Pattern Swatch, and then your name, and you're gonna click Save. First thing we've gotta do is you're gonna take that that tile you created, I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to paste it onto this document here. Okay, stop the video, do that now. You're going to want to resize this thing. Okay, I'm going to suggest about this big, move it over to the left. Okay, now we got to create our pattern. So with your entire tile selected, go to Object, Pattern, Make. I want you to create a custom pattern. So again, you can change these however you want, brick, rose, whatever. When you're happy, you're gonna hit done. It's gonna save it to the swatches panel. You need to delete this, grab your rectangle tool. I want you to click and drag a rectangle that fits the entire artboard. Make sure that your stroke is set to none. We do not want a stroke. And for our fill, we're gonna put it to the pattern. Now, if you want to have another color in your negative space, you can do this. I'm just gonna show you what this would look like. It is your choice. You just have to send it to the back. Object, arrange, send to back. Just make sure they line up, okay? 
And now we've got to, again, if you haven't saved it, make sure you save it. You do not have to share it with me, but we do need to export this. And this is the first time. So you've got your pattern done. You're going to go to File, Export, Export As. And this dialog box is going to pop up. You want to save it as a JPEG. I would just call it Final Pattern Swatch and then your name. Make sure it's going to your Downloads folder and click Export. Make sure you're set on max, your resolution is high, and then click OK. So what we've done is we've just created an image of this pattern. Now you want it to be at least, at least as repetitive as, as I have here. So at least probably like five or six columns, you know, five or six rows. You can be even way smaller than this. In fact, if it's a little smaller, you have a little bit more options later when you're placing these on the products, okay? So you've got your symbol, you've got your pattern. Let's go ahead and start the document and start assembling the stuff. So we're gonna go to File, New. You got it, just leave it as 20 by 20, click Create. We're gonna go to File, Save As. In the Creative Cloud, we're gonna call this Final Pattern Project and then you're gonna hit save. Now we're ready to start. So we're gonna take our final tile and we are going to move a copy of it onto this document. And now I can close that, I don't need it. We're going to resize. You want it fairly big. We're gonna, we're just gonna eyeball it for right now. If it's not grouped, make sure you group it. We're gonna take that, oops, grab the wrong one. We're gonna grab all objects here and we're gonna move that onto this image here. And then we can close that file, we don't need it. I'm just resizing this. Now, if I'm going to show you a couple things. If you are not happy with how big this is, like I can leave it like this, but if I want to show the pattern like more from a distance, one thing you can do is we can move this thing, okay? We can place the exported JPEG now. So if I go to File, Place, I can go back to that pattern and I can place it in here. And that way I can resize it. It's a JPEG file. My computer's acting really slow. And so that you see it's a little bit small. It's up to you. I don't care which way you do it. Um, either just by having it in the swatches panel or placing the JPEG, it's up to you. All right. I'm going to, I like it. I like the looks of it better, bigger. So I'm just going to leave it like this. You're gonna have to resave your swatches again. I know that's kind of a pain. So you're gonna wanna come back over to your tile. You're gonna have to add your colors again. So you'll wanna click on your colors. You're gonna add them to the box. Oops, I don't wanna do that. Ay, ay, ay. Just wanna sample. I don't need to select it. So again, add your your swatches in here. This is important. Make sure you get them in there. Oh, you are being so finicky. That's another way. You saw that I did that because it didn't want to drag for whatever reason. It was just being finicky. There we go. Now it did it. Um, and then you're going to want to put an example of the swatches. So you're going to want to grab your rectangle marquee tool, click and drag your, sorry, wrong program, not rectangle marquee, um, your rectangle tool. And I do want you to hold on shift because I want it to be a perfect square. And then just make slow so it's being really weird. I'm just making copies. Remember you should have five 
and resize these so they don't fit. You'll want to make sure everything is lining up. And then make sure you change your color so you've got all of your colors represented. should be your your next step and then again make sure that you've saved it in the cloud because now we're ready to find the products and this is the most fun part so you can go ahead and close this document as long as it's saved and now we get to play we're gonna open up a website called Zazzle and it's just there's a million of these different companies out there it's just one that I like I use it a lot but we're just using it to show a potential client what that textile would look like on products. So it's just Zazzle, you can Google it, or um, it's just Zazzle.com. And obviously it's a printing company. They, they print on lots of different products. Well, we're gonna do custom products. So once you're in Zazzle, I want you to scroll down to the Create, and you're gonna go to, under blank products, you're gonna go to View, view All, because we're gonna add our pattern. So you're gonna see there's tons of different um, products here. Like, there, there's some crazy ones. They even have, like, you can print on Oreos and a bunch of different stuff. Um, there's laptops and phone cases. So I'm going to go to, let's go to, an, we're going to make an iPhone case. But you're going to have to apply your pattern to three different products. So you're just going to click on any, you're just going to click on a product. And then you're going to add your pattern. So you do that by hitting custom design or customize your design. You're going to have to upload your pattern. So you click on upload. You should have exported that. Remember, final pattern it should be in downloads folder and it's going to upload into Zazzle. Once it is uploaded into Zazzle, and that may take a little bit, you're just going to click, yep, and drag it onto your product. Do resize it so that it fills the product. And when you're happy, hit done. And it's going to apply that to that product. All right. Now, my screen is a little bit enlarged. Let's see. Oh, good. I can shrink it. Um, we're just going to take a screenshot, guys. There's, there's better ways to do this, but for sake of time, we're just going to screenshot this thing as a JPEG. So you're going to need to open up a new tool called the Snipping Tool. So I'm going to start from scratch here. So go down to your little um, search bar at the bottom, and you're going to type in Snipping Tool. Everybody has it on their computer. This dialog box is going to pop up. You're just going to click New. It's going to kind of gray things out a little bit. Take your cursor, your marquee, and you're going to click and drag over your product image. Um, you can choose to do it over all four of these, or if I don't like it, I'm going to hit New again. Like, let's say I just want just the product itself. You can do that too. That's fine. Snipping tool is going to show you, okay, this is what it looked like. I'm going to say, yep, I like it. I'm just going to click save. Double check, make sure it's in the downloads. If you want to rename it, I'm going to call it cell phone. Click save. And then I'm going to just minimize that. Now I'm going to go back. I'm going to, I'm going to do a different product. So I'm just going to hit the back button. I'm going to try something totally different. And I would suggest three totally different things. So maybe I'm going to go to, oh, no seat decor. Um, let's make a pillow. Same thing. I'm going to customize the design. Pattern should still be in there. There you go. Now I'm going to grab my snipping tool. I'm going to hit new. I'm going through kind of fast. I get that. There you go. Now I'm going to call that. I'm saving that. I'm going to call it pillow. Click save. i got to do one more product now. So let's go back. These are all under create your own. Let's do something really weird. Um, let's do a bag. Nah, coffee mugs are nice. There's something, there's gotta be something really funky in here. Um, let's hit one more. One more page over. You guys could spend days looking in this. There's so much, uh, so many different products. Okay, 
I'm not finding anything cool on there. Let's do clothing. Let's do some. Let's do some clothes. We'll see what it looks like on a shirt. Design, grab it, stretch it to fill, done. And if you want one of the other angles, you can, however you want to do it. But you want it to show what it would look like on a product. Again, go back to your snipping tool, hit new, screenshot what that would look like. Make sure you save it. I'm going to call it shirt and click save. Okay, now that you're done with your examples, again, have some fun. There's lots of different products. I mean, they have like leggings and skateboard decks and watches. They have all kinds of cool stuff. Go back to your Illustrator program, open up your final project, and then you need to place these things. So go to File, Place, they should be in your downloads folder. Just take the, just go ahead and place them. We're gonna align them later. File, place, just place all three. Okay. Resize these so that they're a little bit organized. You may need to We're going to align them, so select all three of them. We're going to align, and you want to align to key object, so all the way to the right. If you, str you struggle finding this align panel, call me over. It is a separate panel. If you need to, you go to window and open it, but it should show up in the control panel. So we're going to align to a key object. It doesn't matter which one of these. Click one of them, and then you're going to line them up equally. It just lines them all up, okay? Top to bottom. And then you're just gonna clean everything else up. You wanna make sure everything lines up accordingly. So you can, again, do that alignment option. We can go align the object. We're gonna align everything going this way. Oops, I didn't mean to click that. Get all your boxes. You might need to zoom in so you're getting everything just so. And then when you are 100% happy, we need to embed all of our linked files. So if you placed your pattern in there, I didn't place it. Mine's a, a separate pattern. But if I placed it, I'm going to put the placed one back in there, that JPEG. Remember, we have to embed these. So we're going to have to click on the object, go to Window, Links, and you have to embed that product, that project. Notice all the other ones are going to show up in there too. I'm going to fold this Links panel open. I can embed all of these. If I click on Cell Phone, go to Embed, Pillow, go to Embed, Shirt go to embed. Now when I open this thing up, those images will show. If you do not do that, when I open up this document, it's going to say there's broken links and I'm not going to be able to see these products. All right? And then share this with me. Invite me to edit. You are done. You created a one-of-a-kind textile print that can be applied to products. So good job everyone. You are officially done with the textile project designing.